Hello everyone, Visual Pony here. Usually we don't do things like this, but this is a website that both Midnight and I use regularly. You might have seen Midnight stream a lot of games over on her Twitch channel over the last year, and you might wonder how we were able to get all of those. Well, look no further, because the answer is right here. The good folks over at Kingwin are currently clearing some of their stock and have sent us an affiliate link through which you can kill two birds with one stone. You can get amazing games at good prices, while also supporting the channel, since we get a cut of everything that you purchase with our link, which you can find in the description down below by the way. But better be quick, their clearance sale is only running from the 14th to the 21st of April. So while you're listening to this amazing story, why not hop over there and have a look at what games they have on sale right now. And now, enjoy the video and your potentially new games. Roar! <laughs> Hello and welcome to Pony and Wolf Productions. I am Midnight and today we'll be reading Pirate Etiquette with Captain Pip and Lou. Overlord by Overlord Flinix. By Overlord Flinix. As always, these are amazing Patreons. Link is in the description if you wish to join. And don't forget, I have a Twitch. So if you wish to see me die a lot, or just come for the laughs, I'll leave a link in the description. Now, shall we get to it? Pirate etiquette trails back to hundreds, perhaps thousands, of years in history, before the time of land civilization and inland civilization. It derives from the salty seahorses of old and the swashbuckling high sea thievery they were renowned for. But it was the code of the pirate, the etiquette, that truly made them the skull sails we know them as today. Today, pirates are a thing of the past. The seas are calm, goods are transferred by air or by land, and bandits are the new thieves. But bandits are lawless thugs. Pirates had the code, the etiquette that made them both feared and respected in the times of olden Equestria. That is why on this day, Princess Luna and our worldwide recognized pirate specialist, one Pipsqueak, will take it upon themselves to teach you the etiquette of the pirate. Pirate etiquette, if you would. Pirate etiquette with Captain Pip, rule number one. A pirate needs a good R. A good R really sells your reason to be a pirate, but just going arr is enough. You need to dig down into your tummy and let it really rip out. It's almost like a fart, just that it comes from your mouth and not your bum. Pirate etiquette with Captain Lou. Rule number two, you got to wear pants. Tis a shameful and blasphemous idea to once consider a pirate to be without his pantaloons. The more frilled the pants are, verily the greater a pirate one was and is. There can be no compromise on this. The very idea. Pirate etiquette with Captain Pip. Rule number three. If there is ever a way to win a fight, one to on fifty, do it. Crackers and pears, this shouldn't even be a pirate rule. This is common sense. If you do see a way to win a fight and get out alive, you do it. I'm a cult, and I know that. Pirate etiquette with Captain Lou, number four. Never keep two weapons on one side of your body. Historically speaking, there stands a momentous chance that at some point, upon the seas, one of thy thims will be lost forever. Therefore, keep a weapon holstered on either side, so as not to let one side grow too reliable. Pirate etiquette with Captain Lou and Pip, rule number five. Save as many damsels in distress as you can. Cause chances are, they have a map for some treasure. They were in distress for a reason, right? Could be a map. Or, in the likelihood that they have affluent or influence, one could use as parlay at the nearest port. One must always think to 
towards a future on the open seas. Pirate etiquette with Captain Pip number six. There's no such thing as too many lasses in the ports. Me mum said this one was wrong. Pirates shouldn't only have one lass in any port. And if they have more, they get scurvy on the willy. I trust pirate etic. But mum is scary, so I trust her. Pirate etiquette with Captain Lou. Rule number seven. You got to party. The pirate's livelihood is substantially minimum in even some of the best scenarios. For that reason, as a pirate, you are obligated to celebrate with your crewmates in whatever port town you contact with. In most cases, however, partying is best taken place upon your vessel itself. Pirate etiquette with Captain Pip. Rule number eight. You've got a party. Ah, the great law of the pirate. Ta party or not ta party? That is the question. But if you're a pirate, you gotta party. If you're not partying, you're not pirating. Pirate etiquette with Captain Lou. Rule number nine. You've got to party. Sir or madam, do thee truly understand what is being said here? Celebrating partying is indeed important enough to a pirate that it must consume three of the rules. Dost thou grasp what is being said here? If you do not, you are not pirate material. Ye must party to be a pirate. There can be no alternative or compromise. Ye must party, for it is the pirate way. Pirate etiquette with Captain Lou and Pip. Rule number ten. You don't need a crew. A crew just slows you down. And makes for more loot to split amongst them all. No crew means more of the share for ya. To possess a lot of seahorses could only hinder the progression across the vast ocean. Therefore, a loss of a crew is needed. But ya always need friends. A team chums, buddies, Nakama ponies you love. They're no crew, but you trust them with your life no matter what. They're a bit crazy. Sometimes they seem to be a bit too greedy. They even may act like they want you dead. But they're fam. Yeah. Love fam. No matter what. And you'll take them out to sea with you without a doubt. The vast sea is treacherous and dark. For the body as much as the heart. Tis why one should only travel with those you would trust to protect and nurture you. Should you succumb to weakness. As you would if they too fell. That is not a member of the crew. That is a member of whom you do not share a lion's mind with. But our will to give them the ransom of a queen. Too, without being asked. Pirates are bloodthirsty and dangerous thieves of the sea. But a pirate, a real pirate, is nothing without etiquette and honor of what it means to fly the Jolly Roger. Maybe someday ponies like Pip will set sail once again to find the lost booty of pirates past. But before that day, maybe they should read all 100 rules in the pirate etiquette. Arrgh, I'm a pirate now. I know all the etiquette. <laughs> ah, this one's funny. This one's funny. Just a little bit of silly fun. That was Pirate Etiquette with Captain Pip and Lou, written by Overlord Flinks. Hope you all enjoyed, and keep watching that moon, everyone.